Welcome to today's part of this SPSS methodology. This time with a unit on testing whether a certain variable follows a binomial distribution. Binomial, as the name says, only has like two possible outcomes. So here we're going to check this for our variable gender, whether this follows a, nominal, a binomial distribution. How are we going to do this? Binomial distribution or testing for binomial distribution is testing for a specific distribution. So we're going to need a non-parametric test for this. With non-parametric tests, we actually have two possibilities we could use. As here we are testing the distribution for one variable, use the part one sample. This is the newer version. Or we go with the older version via the legacy dialogs. So let's start with the older version. Here we can click on binomial. Then we need to select our test variable. We enter gender here. Then we could enter down here the probability for which it should be tested on binomial distribution. So here we keep it at 50%. Click on OK. Directly get our result here. For an assumed probability of 50%, the test here tells us, as this is smaller than 5%, that we can reject the H0 hypothesis. The H0 hypothesis here is that our variable follows a binomial distribution with this probability. So this is not the case. And we see it here, well, our observed probability is 44% and not 50. So we could modify this slightly. Go again to dialogues, legacy dialogues, binomial, and switch here our testing probability from 50% to 45%. Again, click on OK. We see here, assuming a probability of 45%, we get a result as our significance level which is clearly above 5%, meaning we cannot reject our H0 hypothesis, meaning our variable follows a binomial distribution with a probability of 45%. This is what the legacy dialogues generate as an output, so the classical SPSS output. If we now turn to the new version here with the one sample. This looks slightly different. However, in the end it's basically the same. Here we start with fields. If we do not change anything, he will test this for all the variables in my data set. So I only want to do this with gender. I put all the other stuff back on the left side and have as a test field only gender. Now I could just click run and then SPSS would select the most suitable, well, tests, the most suitable distribution to compare this to. Or, if I'm sure that I want to go with binomial distribution, I could click in settings on customize tests. And here I see I can perform a binomial test. So I could check this. And under options, I could here also change the prop uh, proportion for which it should be checked. We're not going to do this here. Here we keep it as automatically choose the test based on the data. So let's see what SPSS comes up with. So if I click run, get here my result. And we see he selected a one sample binomial test. So he already saw the best fitting test for this type of data as a one sample binomial test. So the same test we ran above here. This becomes clear because the significance level here, the 0 0.38, that's actually the same significance level we had up here in the original test. Because here again, we test for a probability of 50%. Well, this is the same result we had above. We reject the null hypothesis. And well, here there is the null hypothesis they follow the given probability. So meaning we are binomially distributed with a probability of 50%. This needs to be rejected. So it does not follow 
this type of binomial distribution. Well, this already was everything I wanted to t tell you about regarding testing for binomial distributions. So I hope you enjoyed this short session on this topic and if you want to see more of this type, feel free to visit the rest of this SPSS methodology. Until then, see you and goodbye.